Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku bringing you a La Palma update Sunday, October 17th, 10.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. Now, this update is much needed. We have been away from the desk for four days now at the 14th International Conference on Climate Change. Check out all the interviews coming up this week. The first one was just posted moments ago, but La Palma deserves an update. Now, our prediction four days ago before we left was that the eruption would be ending in the next week or so, and all evidence is suggesting that what we said is coming true. The effusive nature of the volcano, the eruptivity is all reduced, including seismicity, and we'll get to that. This is all good news. La Palma Volcanic Ash Advisory, the most recent one coming out just moments ago, Showing ash up to 13,000 feet at flight level 130, the aviation color code is still red, which means there is still high ash, and this baby is still active and still erupting. But the eruption continues with a decrease in activity. Activity has been a bit lower today compared to previous days. Volcanic tremor remains at moderately low levels, with pulses of intensification now and then. But it's lower than the past days, suggesting that lava effusion has also decreased a bit significantly now, this evening, that we're showing you this. Okay. Now, at the vents, the lava flow continued to be active and explosions at the upper vent produced pulsating fountains with strong ash emissions. The ash bloom has been rising near vertically today due to the absence of winds reaching an altitude of 1,400 meters. That's the ash advisory to 13,000 feet right there. Now, the advance of the lava flows has slowed somewhat. We have a uh, really detailed map we're going to be sharing with you right now. The annotated latest lava flow map with directionality. Now, this is coming from Enrique de Oi on Facebook. He posted a very informative new lava flow map, which has the directionality and showing that the new lava arm from that increased eruptivity just starting a week ago has now formed one, two, three arms, nine, nine A, B, and C. The original arm here with the directions of flow, and then the third arm down here is off the picture. But we have new flows up here, 10 D and A. So this is affecting uh, more homes and more structures and destroying more banana plantations. So that's bad news. But the good news is that, well, the seismicity has dropped off considerably. Now, when we left for the event, it was back here during the 14th and 15th when seismicity was low, and we made that prediction based on the major drop down in events. There was another bump up in the last two or three days. But overall, if you look at the seismicity on these three days compared to these three days, there is much less. And in the last 24 hours, it's almost the largest lull since this lull when we left. When we predicted the volcano eruption would be coming to an end in a week or so, we were probably right. And so we're going to see how long this lull lasts, and we'll make some predictions based on that. So based on all the telemetry, all the seismicity, there is extremely reduced activity in just the last four or five hours, which is good news. Good news for people in La Palma, good news for people all around the Atlantic Rim, and good news for all, well, bad news for all the people that Jesus is coming. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. When the Oppenheimer Ranch Project has been predicting correctly, well, for half a decade. We love each and every one of you. We have more informative videos coming up in the days to come. We're back, baby. We love you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. That's a boom to knowledge. Yeah.